students i welcome you to this new video in the earlier video i discussed various mathematical uh, symbols that are used in um, economic theory as well as uh, in econometrics or uh, statistics in this video i am going to uh, explain some other statistical symbols that are also widely used in uh, economics so let me begin with the introduction uh the following symbols are used in economic statistics context but we may note that the greek letters above uh, that we discussed earlier contain many symbols used in these contexts as well uh for example this uh, vertical uh, line means given that uh, in statistics and for example if we say x given y is equal to y it means x given the fact that y equals 2 so this is how we use uh, uh, this statistical symbol in this context uh this e means the expectation of typically this is defined uh, in matrix as uh, placed in brackets next to it for example x then this means the expected value of x this symbol is used uh, extremely often in statistics so uh, this capital e is used for uh, the expected value or the expectation of capital v which is used in uh, statistics stands for the variance of it is used in the same way as the expectation symbol that we discussed above so when something is placed in brackets next to this symbol it means the variance of that variable or uh, matrix so it should not be confused with sigma square which is the which stands uh, for a specific number uh, sigma square is the symbol for the population variance of a variable uh, this stands for the actual number that is uh, the variance of something x bar when bar is placed above the variable it denotes the average for example x bar stands for the mean value or the average value of the variable x this is used very often in economic formula for example when describing the sum of the least squares uh set theory is used to describe how group how groups of things are related to each other they are similar to a venn diagram but uh, in the language of math now this symbol is used in uh, set theory and uh, it shows that the variable or group on the left side of it is a subset of which means included in the group on the right side of it uh, with a slash through it it means the opposite this symbol is the same as above except that the subset it describes can also be equal to the variable or group on the right hand side it does not have to be completely contained uh, within the second group then we have this symbol uh, which denotes a superset and uh, this is the opposite of a subset it means that the group on the left hand side of this symbol contains the group on the right hand side so it is uh, used for uh, contained in uh, this symbol is the intersection symbol uh, and it is used in set theory as uh, the intersection of two sets are things they both contain that are the same uh, this capital u uh, is the symbol for the union of two sets everything that is contained in at least one of the sets then we have this phi uh, which is uh, used for empty set or null set in set theory and uh, this is simply a set which contains nothing uh, sets of numbers the following symbols are uh, technically are still technically sets as they describe groups of numbers like uh, rational numbers natural numbers and so on these are used very often in economic formulae even when other sets symbols might not appear uh, the symbol n is used for uh, natural numbers so n is a set 
uh, which stands for a real number. Z is the symbol for the set including all integers, both positive and negative. Uh, Q is the symbol for the set of all rational numbers, whereas R is the set for the set of all real numbers. So these are various uh, set notations. Uh, this this symbol means there exists at least one. It is commonly seen in proofs which tend to be used in econometrics or statistics heavy courses. Uh, this symbol is a variation of the symbol explained above. Uh, there exists one and only one. So this symbol means that there exists one and only one. Whereas this symbol uh, means there exists at least one. Uh, this vertical, this uh, opposite A means for all, usually in the context of stating some truth in an econometric textbook, stating that a particular equation is true for all i and some set of observed values n. Uh, this symbol means implies the function formula or variable on the left hand side implies some relationship written on the right hand side. So this symbol basically stands for implies. Whereas this symbol means if and only if or uh, i double f. There are some other useful symbols. Now this symbol is used to mean belongs to or in. This symbol doesn't belong to, it means doesn't belong to. And uh, this expression means the set of X, the set of all elements of S with the property P, with the property P so that such that X satisfies property B. This symbol is a subset of, this symbol is proper subset of and uh, this is a uh, union, this is intersection, this is again, this phi is null set, this is complement of A, this is B intersection, A complement. Uh, we denote some functions by uh, like this, that function defined on S with values in T. For example, if, F, uh, if function F is defined on S, then it takes on values in T. Uh, these f, g and so on are scalar valued functions. This f, g is vector valued function. This capital F and g in bold means matrix valued functions. Uh, g dot f, g dot f capital means composite function. And this is convo convolution. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, these are some of the statistical symbols that are also used in uh, economics. I hope this was uh, helpful for you. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get timely notifications about my other videos that I'll upload for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, kindly subscribe uh, to this channel and share various videos of this uh, in various uh,